Hello everybody, this is Drake going back for another episode of Dinosaur King. And we are going to use dinosaurs that you guys suggested I should use. And because I got quite a few suggestions and I don't want to leave people waiting, I'm going to do two. We're going to use two dinosaurs in this video. Um, let's take on the space pirates because the space pirates is way more fun. And we will do... We'll do this battle, we'll do this battle. So... Give me a set while I enter the first dino of our usage. Okay, we shall use Maximus. Maximus Taylorus Dino Sus. Okay, we're up against Shia. Okay, we got Lillian Stern as our first. Uh. Okay, here's a, here's a dino suggested by one of you lovely people. Yes, we have the Gigant Spinosaurus. The green, mossy guy. The lethal type one, of course. And we have Final Fury, Giga, Giga Rock Hammer, and a bit of Gaia Mountain. So we'll see how this fares. And if I don't remember who left that comment, don't worry, I'll, I'll pop it up. If I haven't already. Okay, that's scissors. So think of it this way. It's like you versus them. Awesome, isn't it? And I don't know why I didn't do it before. Uh, many years, eons ago. But, you know. Better late than never. Ooh, that's a guy I'm out in that is. Big damage coming to the Lillian Sturness. Uh, I don't really like using these ones, to be honest. You know, they're, they're cool, they're unique, but, you know, I'm not really fast on them. But people, but, but the people have spoken. Boosh. Boosh. Smash. Yeah, that's really the stern is dead, buried, crushed and sealed. Okay, we got Aki the Saurus next. And yes, I should also announce that I am getting back to mod making for Jurassic World Evolution. Yes, I am working on the next batch of mods for the next showcase. I know Jurassic, I know all the hype from Jurassic World Evolution 2, and don't worry, but when we're able to mod that game, you can rest assured, I will be modding that game. Oops, <laughs> I almost forgot. Um, I'm hoping, I don't think it's going to be the case, but I am genuinely hoping that we can... Oh, damn it, messed up. I'm genuinely hoping that we can... Um, transfer our mods from the first game over to the second game. And if we can't, there's no problem, because, you know, I suspect the skins and the models would be relatively similar. I'll just have to do a few tweaks with the skins and stuff. But I am hoping, you know, a small glimmer of hope that if we're able to just transfer our mods from the first game over to the second one. Of course, modding for Draft of the Revolution 2 won't be a while yet, I mean... I don't know how it will, how people will do it, but I suspect you'll probably they'll have to wait until the actual game comes out. So it'll probably be, I'd say, summer of 2022, maybe at the earliest when we're able to mod. If not, then I'd probably say definitely 2023. So there's a long way to go yet. Okay, we got an Allosaurus here. Okay, she knows I'm going to beat her crit, so I'm going to go skizzes. Okay, maybe we should try and tank a few hits so we can see Final Fury. Maybe I should do that. But I also want to see um, Giga Rock Hammond. We haven't had that lot once. But that's probably because the Gigant Spinosaurus doesn't have very good technique. For a silver, anyway. It only has 300 technique, which is relatively weak. Um, yes, also look for an Earth tier list this week. On the topic of the Gigant Spinosaurus, I still need to work on a few things, and yes. Remember all those lovely attack stats that I worked hard to gather? Yeah, that file got deleted, so I have to do that all over again. Although, for the Lightning Dinosaurs, I still I have my video as reference, so that's not too bad. And I found most of them, and maybe I can remember a few off the top of my head. Okay, we've got Maposaurus with a Magma Blaster. 
Yes, I also learned that moves like Magma Blast, the Burning Dash, and Futaba Cannon actually give out different boosts in terms of attacking technique. Moves like Magma Blaster, which get triggered after a loss, are stronger. Generate more power because it, they get triggered after a loss. Moves like Burning Dash, Gatling Spark are in the middle. And then you've got things like Futaba Cannon and Mayfly, which trigger after a win. And those moves don't generate as much power. They still generate a bit, but not too much. <laughs> I wanted her to get Magma Blaster off. Okay, she got a hit off finally. See, this is where I have to be careful, because I, so I sometimes do this where I'll let them get a hit, and then I get creamed. Oh yeah, because a Matinosaurus with 200 technique gets off Volcano Burst. Oh, okay, I won. You know what that means though? In comes Maximus. But, we do have the type advantage over it, so we should be okay. Yeah! I just want one Giga Rock Hammer. Just one. Oh, okay. Well, I, I, I'm just gonna throw this one. Oh no, I missed Claire. Never mind. Okay, there's Gatlin Spark being triggered. Okay, yeah, let's let her get a hit off. She shouldn't do too much damage, because again, we have the type advantage, but... The poison will also drain, drain our health as well. Which means we can get Final Fury off. Okay, that's alright. That's, that's just a rock. And we should get Final Fury now. Wait, are you serious? Hang on, wait, hang on, where's Final Fury? Yeah, but yeah, hang on a minute, my health's in the red. Wow! Oh, it's missed. Dum -dum. Ah, there we go. Yeah, Final Fury. Sadly, we're not going to see Crystal Crush. Giga Rock Hammer, I'm afraid, because, well, not going to activate now, is it? Yes, Shear, you got sheared. Snip, snip. I'm going to cut off your hair as punishment. And that is the might of Gigant Spinosaurus. Um, okay, now, let's move on to our other suggestion. Alright, here we go, we got Max Maximus taking on Goma. Do you know, I always had a theory about Goma. I, and I still hold this theory to that day. And my theory is the fact that Goma is an evil version of Max. Like, there's no logical explanation as to why that could be the case, but, you know, it just, it, it just come up, it just feels that way to me. Okay, now here's for suggestion number two, we have Armata, Spectral Armor, of course. This was suggested by this lovely individual here. Ooh, I love all your suggestions, keep them coming, keep them coming. We have a bit of Quake Saber, some Earth Barrier Nest, and Crystal Crushers. Actually, you know what I can't wait to do? I can't wait to do the move card tier list, because that's going to be very interesting. When I do get around to doing it, should I divide it into moves and super moves, or should I just have them all in one? I'm thinking of just having it like in them um, separately, so I'll have normal moves and then super moves. And then maybe, maybe we can do an ultimate tier list, but that's going to take hours. There's so many dinos in this game. Okay, we're off to a good start here. What the? You did. Got a nice earth barrier there. Okay, I don't want to trigger the spectral armor yet because you know I want to see I want to see these moves. So we got the jack armor, but we're gonna wait. 
And don't worry, we're going to have plenty of time to get the Jack Armour. Ooh, he threw a curveball at me there, go my boy. But the Earth Barrier there stopped limited the damage. And we got Crystal Crusher, nice. Actually, with with all the ties in this game mode you can get, Crystal Crusher is really good because it negates his heat eruption. Hmm. Oh, bugger. Oh, there's a helicopter outside, I can hear it. Okay, that's a sp we got Spino tacked up. Ow! I just hit my throat. I just hit my microphone with my throat. Um. Yeah, we'll go scissors. Oh, here it comes. Oh, Ocean Panic! I was half expecting interruption. Actually, this is awesome because it should. Well, it may nullify one of his moves. It doesn't always do it, but most of the time it does. Say, okay, here comes heat eruption. Yeah. <laughs> Can I just say that oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go on to talk, talk talk about tournaments now. And I feel like have you guys been watching um, Adolf Adams' tournament? Because I find it very it's very unique and interesting. And he does he does like three one v one battles with the weird game mode thingy that I, well I tried to do but I just couldn't work out what to do. I find it, I find it really all interesting. Hmm. Well, I'd rather him not get off burning dash, so we'll go scissors. Nah, that there. Come on, give me some hints. I need to know what to do. I'm dying here. Okay, in comes Armatus. Okay, you know they're gonna scissors. Alright, that's one down. I don't know what I'm going to do for the thumbnail. Maybe I'll do what I did um, for the last thumbnail. I'll just have like little screenshots throughout, like a collage. Um, I'm going to say no. Because again, I don't want to get lose these moves right away. Because again, Earth Barrier is really useful. and. If I, if I get as far as the Omega stage, Earth Barrier is just a killer because it stops it from insta-killing me. But if we, if we get to the, if we just lose super, if we lose this Paris tech, Paris, Paratector, then I will just activate that Spectral Armor to solve it. That's rock? Oh. Uh, scissors. Okay, here comes heat eruption. You can see why I put um, Super Eokarkiri and S tier. It's just so busted. So busted and OP and very powerful. Okay, you went. Ghost of paper. Okay, that's, a, that's not too bad, you know. Rock? Yeah! Wait, is this 2 Platoon Crush? And it's 2 Platoon Crush! <laughs> Who remembers when my Super Champ beat his Eokak area with 2 Platoon Crush? Well, we don't have a choice here. We must activate Dino Tech. Do not take that on! Okay. Paper? Ah, oh, nuts. Okay. First chance I get, if I get a chance, activate Spectral Armor. But I feel like I'm not going to get a chance. Please give me Earth Barrier. Okay, this is good though. If we can just get at least a chance to get Spectral Armor off. Bossar's paper. Yes! I 
have a limit. Does, does Earthbarrier actually have a limit as to how many times you can activate? I think it might. Okay, get my codes ready because I'm gonna enter the I'm gonna enter the code for Spectral Arm. I mean, it'll be a waste, but you know, gotta do epic stuff for content, don't we? There we go. Jackhammer. Uh, I went rock last time, so I need to go for hate back. Yeah, we got it off. He's a Spectral Stinger. Okay, I'm happy now. I'm happy to get creamed by Omega Eokarkiri now. Um, oh, look at that. Boosh. Blah. Oh, that's a broken neck. That is death. That is pure and utter death. Okay, skip. We know Goma's not dead. <laughs> Okay, sorry, I wanted to be quiet there while it happened. And actually, while I was qui quietly watching, I was thinking, I have a favourable chance of surviving because if once if I click one sign, I'll either get I'll either get a tie or a win. The odds of me getting hit are actually against me. But I'm very unlucky, so we died. But at least we got to see Spectral Singer and we got Spectral Armor off. Which makes up for the past times I failed to activate Spectral Armor or Dino Tester because I never use it. <laughs> Smash! Oh no, he's a dead Armatus. Armor didn't help him, did it? Ah oh, well, we tr really tried and we got some good stuff. Maybe next time we'll do better. Usually, when you when you like one v one against Omega or Karkiri, you're pretty much dead. All right, that's gonna wrap this session up. So I hope you enjoyed. If you didn't enjoy, then why are you still here? But if you did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe for more epic stuff, and for more suggestions for you lovely people. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer. Spooking out.